Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel, Watercolor Painting in the Afternoon. I'm Beth, and today I am going to be uh, doing the second installment of Steve Mitchell's class that I'm taking um, on intuitive landscape painting. And I will leave a link to his class in the description box. And um, hopefully you will take a look at it because I think it's a really good class. It's totally free. And I'm not doing this because he asked me to. I'm just doing this because I really think that uh, he has something wonderful to offer. And I hope you'll join me. I've already tried it once. And this is my first attempt. And it was, uh, you know, it was okay, but I thought I made the colors a little too dark. So I wanted to try it again and maybe lighten it up a little bit. I used two primary colors, um, primarily uh, at least. I used Burnt Umber and Ultramarine Blue. And one of the things that Steve said we should do is um, make sure that we are we have something in mind when we slap this color down on the page like this, because we're just dropping color in. And Steve had in mind a forest scene, and so that's what I was thinking about too as I began to uh, put the paper, I mean, put the paint on the paper. Just a sort of a hazy forest scene. And um, so here I'm just putting wet into wet some umber onto the paper. And you really don't have to have a plan. You just get started in one area and you just keep going and um, see what happens. And this is what makes it intuitive. So here I was just adding a little bit of brown to the blue so that it wouldn't be quite so uh, bright of a blue, maybe look a little bit more natural, and um, just dropping this blue into the forest. And it kind of makes, it makes this part of the forest look very far away. So I'm already beginning to see maybe some trees in the background and I'm putting in some trunks just very lightly. adding a little depth. here just lifting out a little bit of color here and there making it look interesting so after I let it dry I came back with um, with a little bit more a little darker color and I wanted to use the dry brush technique, which is just dragging a fairly dry brush with just a little bit of color in it across the paper. And because I'm using a watercolor paper that's got texture to it, um, it kind of leaves behind this leafy looking texture. And I used that um, technique several times 
as I was making leaves for my trees. It's also trying to add some darker areas in order to create depth. Pulling down some trunks, tapping in extra color. I definitely needed to make the blues darker. So that's what I began to do here, filling in some of the trees in the background uh, so that they would stand out just a little bit more. And again with the dry brush technique. And by this time, I was beginning to see a little bit of the forest forming and I was wondering what I was going to do in the foreground, um, but I didn't want to worry about that quite yet. So I just kept um, poking at the background, hoping that something would come to me. Filling in some of the underbrush. I'm trying to bring some of these trees forward a little bit by making them darker. Here I was doing a little bit of negative painting in which you kind of paint around an object in order to make that object stand out. I wanted that brown tree to stand out a little bit, so I painted around it with some of the blue. Now here I was doing a close-up of this tree area because I wanted to paint in some, um, some of the closest trees. So these are going to be the ones closest up to the viewer, and I wanted to kind of give you a close-up of how I was going to do that. Of course, it's got to be sitting on something, so you paint a little bank there. I was trying very hard not to overdo it because I did overdo it on the other painting and it can happen so fast and you just, you really don't want that to happen. You're trying to keep it um, loose, but you're, you know, <laughs> it's a balance, it's a balance. So 
so more of the underbrush there. And now I'm beginning to get an idea. Um, these are banks, and maybe that little white spot in the center there is water. And um, Steve actually did a little waterfall in his picture, and I was going to try to duplicate that, and I was thinking about that about this time. Uh, I was seeing that I could maybe do that and that it would be interesting. Another little bit of negative painting, making that tree stand out. And I wanted to get some of those very light blue values in the back, uh, give them just a little bit more definition, so more uh, dry brush technique. Here again, I'm beginning to pull a bank down um, from the right. And I thought it would be kind of a steep bank going down to the water. Still hoping to um, kind of figure, my, figure out exactly how I'm going to do this foreground. I just kept poking at it, <laughs> thinking it would come to me. Here I was using my liner brush, trying to put some branches in, stalling. <laughs> Didn't want to think about that foreground. And now I'm bringing that bank down to the, what I'm imagining is the water. And pulling some lines down that might look like a waterfall right there. And you can see that I'm beginning to put uh, lines that are horizontal. Um, in order to indicate that we're talking about water now down here in this section. And here pulling down that bank. I had to put a little bit of brown in the water because obviously it's going to reflect, uh, the brownish trees would reflect in the water as well. I'm starting to get a little frustrated. <laughs> And here we have the final, the, the bank that I put in there. I think I put maybe too dark 
of a waterline in maybe, but uh, I don't know. I might have to go back and fix that at some point. But I wanted to finish this off with the um, with the bank, you know, just, just put in some uh, final touches. I really hope that you have um, enjoyed watching this, <laughs> all of my frustrations and but it, but it was fun. This is a lot of fun and it kind of makes you think and it makes you stop and wonder what you're going to do next. And as Steve said, you just kind of work on one little section at a time and it will lead you to another section and another and another. So um, I think I'm really learning some things and I'm enjoying the course. Like I said, I will leave a link to it in the description below so that you can join in if you'd like. Here are just some final touches in the uh, waterfall and a few more, a few more bits and pieces here and there. And I think I'm pretty much finished at this point. Uh, it was time to take off the tape and reveal the the board, the, the nice clean border. Everybody likes that part. <laughs> and we'll see what we've got. 